And now we're going to work on assembling um, our motor mount into our main airframe. And that's the one with the slots. Need to insert this. So we need to insert this motor mount. This is the forward ring all the way. So if this was sliding on the inside, we'd slide up all the way up past these slots. And that's extremely important. It just has to be a touch pass. And we need to have the bottom of this motor mount um, sticking out of the, the rocket um, a little bit as well. We want to make sure we have, uh, have it sticking out um, enough so we can get our um, center have uh, this try again. So we will assemble our motor mount that has the forward centering ring that it's all uh, been installed earlier and assembled earlier I should say and, and glued and the glue is dry. We're going to actually slide this up inside the main airframe. So if this is sliding up the inside we have to get the forward ring up past those fin slots. At the same time we need to make sure this is sticking out at least a three quarter inch and uh, just in case we use the assembling the retainer ring on this uh, later on we we start um, getting the the final assembly together so how are we going to do this um, you can use a popsicle stick you can use craft sticks wooden dowels i have actually quite often used old pencils um, and i get the glue on the pencil and i smear it around on the inside so i put the glue on the pencil i smear it around the inside this can be a little bit challenging craft sticks work pretty well you tape a couple together you put the glue on and you smear it around on the inside all the way around and then you'd slide your motor mount and see how this fits if it doesn't fit we're going to need to sand it a little bit more so that fits fine and we, as we did test fit this earlier when we we're doing our sanding stages so you can see that tube sliding all the way up past those fins and then we will slide it into the glue I think it's a little bit tight right there get gets into the glue up in here and you can see the bottom part of that motor mount is going to stick out from the end next thing we'll be working on is our fins once again our fins will slide right in these slots so our fins will slide right into here and they'll be the slide in as long as that motor mount and already that motor mounts getting locked in place so those tabs start holding that motor mount in and we're not gluing these I'm just test fitting them to show you at this point and one more fin test fit this in so right now that motor mount is going to be resting it's going to be resting on top of that tab so if, if I pull this back and those fins are in there if I pull this back that fin is not going to move once it's glued and neither will that motor mount that won't come out the issue is the thrust is going coming out the end of the rocket this way and pushing the rocket that way so all the force is going to be going the other way so it's important we will install our second centering ring in a, in a little bit and that'll slide up in here and we'll be gluing that in place as well and that'll keep everything from moving once we get the fins assembled the second the aft centering ring aft is the back centering ring or the one closest to the bottom and that's not in there uh, very well right now but we'll fit that in there with some glue and we'll get everything assembled and the way to look on the bottom is this will be nice and centered so we don't have it tipped one way or the other because that would cause our rocket to move one way or the other we want it nice and straight and centered and you can see at this point it would be and then we'll get our fins in get them taped up and they'll hold it in there hold the, uh, the motor mount in there as well so let me take this back apart take our ring off pull that one out take our ring off pull our assembly out and our first step is to get some glue up in here and get this ring slid up in there as well so let me uh, start so looking around trying to find the best tool to use to get glue up inside our tube above those fins and I've tried craft sticks I've tried a lot of different creative um, ways to get glue up in here with students in the past I've never tried this what I've done is I, I took a page of the uh, CNY rocket team challenge manual um, that I've already used and I folded it up several times 
and I fold and fold and fold it and I made it nice and it's fairly rigid where I can, I can and it's also got a nice surface where I can put some glue on the end slide it up in here and I think manipulate that glue where I want it this is going to be a little bit of a time consuming process without a doubt uh, so be patient try not to make a mess try not to get a lot of glue in the slots so you do want to be careful with this so uh, I guess without any further ado I'll get some glue on here Get a nice glop of glue and slide it up in here get it above where I need it and I'm going to start spreading it around above those slots and I'll pull this back out add a little more glue once again need someone with a lot of patience to do this step uh, that's pretty important and I just kind of dump that glue off above those where the fins where the slots are just above where the slots are that one was actually a little bit higher than it needed to be to get more glue back up in here gonna dump that off and work in and around on the inside I'm not sure well you can see it with the light that well, the lights I'm using but we're getting a nice bead of glue around in there being nice and patient get that up there starts to drip off get it right above right above those slots and person on your team with some patience needs to do this step this can't be rushed you can't be impatient you have to do it right um, or else you're not going to have your motor mount sitting in any glue and that's not going to be good because it does take a lot of force as it goes off the launch pad our forward motor mount put this into the tube it should fit just fine there we go and once again you can see it sliding up through those slots and it's going to be a little sticky right there and it is in that glue you can really feel it starting to tighten it up and what i like to do so i'm just going to pop this on just to hold it in place we want it center that's the goal we know if this ring you have to work it in just a little bit we can don't important at this stage do not glue this in there yet if you glue that in there we're not going to be able to secure our fins the way we want to so i'm just putting that in just to hold it in place and then uh, we'll work on the fins in just a minute or two i'm gonna let this sit and eventually i'll take um, you know, a pair of scissors um, i can use a ruler to pop in there slide in the slot and push this ring back out without disturbing this once again the reason i slid this aft retainer ring in without gluing it is just to center everything up you can also put the fins in and that'll help center everything up as well making sure we're not gluing these fins just yet okay not gluing these fins just yet so we have our payload compartment done the motor mount's been assembled and we uh, we've got the forward motor mount in place hopefully um, in section one at this point you've also reviewed the parts of the rocket and uh, some other functions you know, because that's an important part of the rocket challenge is to be uh, very knowledgeable about the parts of the rocket so